Hey friends, welcome back to my channel Made by Yuma. In today's tutorial, we are going to see a beautiful rose earring pattern. So let's see what are the things we need. Uh, anchor cotton thread, size number 8, two different colors and we would need some scissors and a crochet hook of size 1 mm you can use anywhere between 0.5 to 1 mm and the earring pins with the back buttons and some glue we would need so let's get started so take the tail end and make a slip stitch then make a chains so we need to make about 30 chains if you are a beginner you can check out my videos on crochet basics i will provide the link in the description box so friends we have made uh, 30 chains here so then uh, we need to skip the first five chains chain 1 2 3 4 and 5 and insert the needle so yarn over and insert the needle into the sixth chain to make a double crochet so then make chain 3 and a double crochet into the same chain space then skip chain 2 at the base and make a double crochet into the third chain space so this is chain 1, chain 2 and chain 3 so make a double crochet there So this is forming a inverted V shape. Now we are going to make chain 3 and make a double crochet into the same chain space. So this forms a V shape. So alternatively if you uh, follow this pattern right you will get alternate V and inverted V patterns. So now we're going to skip two chains and make a double crochet into the third chain. And then make this pattern throughout. So I've completed and I'm at the last chain making a double crochet. So this is how the uh, pattern looks, V and inverted V. Now flip the pattern. We have the V shape right. So go ahead and make 8 double crochet into that space. So the second double crochet and third double crochet fourth double crochet fifth double crochet sixth double crochet seventh double crochet and 8th double crochet so we just completed 8 double crochet into the first space and into the next we have an inverted V so there make one single crochet and then continue to make 8 double crochet into the next space that is the V space
So this is the first double crochet. Second. This third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Seventh and then eighth double crochet. So next we have the inverted V space. So therein we need to make a single crochet. And in the next space we have that V shape and there we have to make eight double crochet. So this is a pattern we have to follow all throughout the end and uh, we get a spiral shaped flower petals like this. So I am working at the last inverted V making a single crochet. So let's pull the thread to about 2 inches long and cut the thread so let's uh, take some glue and apply it on the base of the flower pattern So apply it all throughout and then we can start um, folding it. Right. Uh, cut the tail ends and now let's work on making the uh, leaf pattern start with the magic circle make chain one Then make a single crochet into the magic circle. Continue to make 11 single crochet into the magic circle. So guys we made 11 single crochet. Now uh, pull the tail end to shrink the center and insert the needle into the first chain space and make a slip stitch now make chain 6 chain 3 chain 4 chain 5 and chain 6 skip the first chain and into the second chain make a slip stitch and then make a single crochet into the next chain space Then make a half double crochet into the next chain space. Now 
then make a double crochet into the next chain space and then make a half double crochet into the last chain space now skip the next chain on the circle and insert the needle into the second chain and then make a slip stitch so we just formed uh, one leaf petal we're going to repeat the pattern to make uh, five I'm at the finishing stitch making a slip stitch so once the slip stitch is done make chain one and you can pull the thread to about uh, two inches long and cut the thread So now let's apply some glue at the back side of the petal. And keep it aside for about 15 minutes for drying. So once it is dried, we can cut off the excess tail ends. And then now let's fix the earring together. So apply enough glue at the back side of the rose. Now attach the earring pen. And then bring the leaf. Apply the glue on the flip side. And attach it to the rose through the pin so now make sure you apply glue to all the petals of the leaf and then attach it to the rose and let it dry for about 15 minutes or it is complete
so a beautiful flower is ready this earring pattern is too cute to be gifted to your friends i hope you like this tutorial and find this useful uh, please share it with your friends and family thank you for watching